Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this um, bifold shape family and today uh, I'm going to just quickly add some hinge onto it. Okay, so let's do it. So first uh, I'm going to uh, create a um, generic model face based and on this uh, base I'm going so this is floor plan and I'm going to create two reference lines so reference line one so the first one from here to here and then you can lock you can lock it straight away or you can use a, a line tool to lock the, uh, the end point okay so now go to let's go to 3d view so you can see this this reference lines on um, this base so um, now we need to draw another reference line so create set work plan and pick the this tab tab pick this vertical see vertical work plan tab and then create another reference line okay so i'm going to just um, i'll leave it i'll leave it so now go back to floor plan so first this one this is a horizontal one okay so click on this uh dimension and create this dimension so now let's create a, a width or uh, i'll call it w and okay and then let's go to front view see this reference line click on it and create this dimension i'll link this uh, with the w as well and also uh, let's go to 3d view again and i'll change the scale so we can see see the reference line and then uh, we're going to add an angular uh, dimension okay so but before that uh, set work plan so make sure you pick the vertical work plan of this reference line and dimension di angular so tab this this and you probably need to click on here because you don't want to keep click on this face of the space and then i'm just going to drag it back okay so now let's create a angle parameter i'll call it a okay um or oh, actually i'm going to make an instance okay so instance so let's have a try so if i change the change the width to maybe 50 yeah good so see and then uh, we are going to create the uh, a, a hinge so two panel uh, yeah and before that uh, because we are going to create use sweep so um, it's easier to have have a profile so let's create a profile so fam create family profile open so now i'm going to just draw a lot uh, some line um you can you can make it parametric but uh, in this exercise i'm just going to make it i'm not sure maybe for me all uh, maybe maybe 100 okay so and also i'm going to move it uh, as center and now load this into the face space family and and now go to 3d view so now we can create the the um, geometry the solid the sweep okay so create sweep pick path so pick this path and okay and then select this profile so depend depending on um where you want to place the hinge i think i'll just flip it yeah flip no doesn't work uh 
Okay, so maybe flip that way. Maybe I need to instead of flip, I'll rotate it. Yeah, so it will rotate to this side. Okay, so uh, finish. So, so it's been placed into this face. So now I know when I place this um, hinge onto my panel, it will go into the panel. Um, so the the issue will be so uh, L H L. If I I'll just give it a material. Okay, so. So you can create a material parameter if you want to, but I'll just uh, change the color, change the material here. So I'll use this color and shade. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change the shade color. So go graphic, use a render appearance. Okay, so shade. So you will see because the uh, the face of this hinge is. Uh, uh, overlap with the base, so you will see the these you know see this. And to avoid this, I'm just going uh, simply. Uh, I'm not going to create a void, so uh, I'm going to just edit this. Um, hell, where's my edit family? Oh, uh, yeah, edit edit this profile, and I'm just going to move it by one okay so and load this back into that hinge family and okay so now it's like it's one mil uh, above the face should should be enough okay so this one is finished now another one here so create swipe pick path here okay profile oh this one's interesting, maybe 90 degree. Uh, no, maybe negative 90 degree. So finish. Okay, and also I'm going to just use this uh, material and just copy paste. It. So now this is it, uh, a very simple um, hinge. So now I'm going to load this into the panel. So see, so you can see you can. Uh, place this onto the face so I'm going to use space bar space and then rotate it so place it and looks like I lost the material no, that's fine because the uh, I think it's the, the default material in this family is different to the one we just um, edit so it's okay so what we can do is go to or maybe I'll just create a material parameter. So it's easier. Select these two and just let's just create a material. So okay, okay, load it back and okay. So now if I select this one, we will be able to change the material. So I'll just change the color again. Okay. And okay and okay so now we need to just um, relocate this so go to the left and where is it here yeah. so I'm just going to move it move this move this up to this corner okay so let's go back to 3d view and select this um, family and see here because we create this angle parameter so we're going to load this because I know if I go to left so you will see this angle is B so select this family and I'll link this to angle B so you will see you will match this uh, the angle between, uh, uh, between these two panels so if I change the angle so you will see this hinge will still match yep so now I'm going to go uh, go to front view and I, I'll just uh, align this hinge to the center reference line and then lock it okay so now 
Um, actually, I'm going to create another two reference plan on each so uh, and then dimension it. So, and I'll call, I'll create a new parameter, call, uh, call it um, maybe hinge off offset and OK. So now you can select this hinge, CC, CC copy, and align this to this reference line. And sorry, one more, CC, AL, align, and lock. So if I go to 3D view, so now we have three hinge. And if I change and how so you can still change the um, change the size for them for example if I change it to make it smaller so see and um, let's try if I change the angle 45 yep still 80 yep 10 0 Good, so change back to 30. And if I change the width of the pa uh, panel, 1500, yeah, so it will follow that panel because we have that parameter set for the offset of the hinge. And also, um, so if you can, you can, um, depend, depending on the width of the panel, for example, this one, uh, I uh, um, think, when it's caught, when when smaller than one meter, I don't want three hinge. Maybe I only need two. So what we can do is we can select the middle one and add a visibility parameter. So for example, I'll call it mid hinge. Um, I'll use type is fine and okay. So now go to family type. So middle hinge, we can just give it a, a, a formula. So we'll call it um, with with um, with a larger than one meter, for example, and apply. So now, if I turn turn the pre preview visibility on, so we will see if I change now if I change the width of this panel. So maybe nine hundred. So you will see, we only have two hinge, and if I make it 1200, so we will see three. Okay, so that's it. Um, very simple um, uh, exercise. Um, yeah, I don't want to like make it too because this is quite actually. It's you don't really want to model every you know all the uh, detail, very detailed, just to indicate oh that's something you know connect something there okay so uh, if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye